It's like Agumon, we, we have a, a very big goal for this year and uh, we have a budget, you know, like a, a plan for the year to grow the team with 15 people and uh, also uh, grow the revenue to 24 uh, million Swedish kroner. So you gotta be great and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Doing what I love with life and I'll pay the price and not stopping even if the shit kills me, even if it kills me. Yes. Healthy skin color. Okay, <laughs> Svea, just for your information, this is episode 134. Thank you. Good you are telling me that. Yes. <laughs> okay, I give you the countdown. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Matron Talks. This is episode 134. And my name is Matthias Grunborg, a.k.a. Matron, and here I share my scaling up journey building my company i go moon from nothing to something and of course with me as usual <laughs> my friend and co-host the one and only svea malina lanshoff hi matthias welcome to 134 nice to see you again it felt like it was just 10 minutes ago that we spoke yeah yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah we're actually doing so... three episodes this week right because we have to catch up on something but here yeah. we are, and welcome also from my side. This is for entrepreneurship runs. I need to do that again. One second. <laughs> okay, I have some cables here, okay? All for yeah, the yeah, sound quality. Yes, yes. So now, now, okay, prepared? Yes. This yes. is for entrepreneurship runs smack into reality. Yes. Three times per week. We have a framework. Matthias. Yes, we have a framework for you guys. So every Monday we talk about self-development and I'm sharing my self-development journey growing as a leader and a human being. And then we have the Wednesday episode, which is actually today, even if we are catching up uh, <laughs> because of my man cold uh, during the week. Um, but every Wednesday we talk about uh, all the things I'm learning in the entrepreneurial process, actually. So scaling up I Go Moon is uh, the topic. And uh, every Friday, I share my weekly inventory. And uh, then I share things I could have done differently and uh, what I learned during the week. And then we are also celebrating the victories. And uh, yes, let's kick it off. Let's take it away. Sven. Wednesday, like you just said. So uh, yeah. we're talking about scaling up Eigen Moon. And uh, I think you did a great job already last year. Um, but this year, 2022, yeah. I want to talk about it this year and Eigen Moon's plans and goals for the year. Could you summarize them for us? Like I go more, we, we have a, a very big goal for this year mm -hmm. and uh, we have a budget, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a plan for the year to grow the team with 15 people mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, grow the revenue to 24 uh, million Swedish kroner. Mm -hmm. Isn't it almost double uh, as last year? Yeah, it's almost uh, double the the, uh, the revenue, yes. And um and and that's uh, like I mean the over year, you know, goal. And um, I I I have like six different uh, topics that I need to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, uh, I would say my priority uh, to succeed with this. Okay. Um, so uh, one thing I need to work on is the leadership and, uh, you know, to get everyone on board here at Tiger Moon, both on a leadership level, uh, but also on uh, an individual uh, level, you know, mm -hmm. to, you know, I mean, it's, it, we need to set the right uh, uh, framework for leadership and, and self-leadership. Yeah. And, uh we, we spoke about that in an earlier episode, uh, the challenges we have on in, in the leadership board mm -hmm. or um, Commando uh, Bryggan, as we say in Swedish, yeah. uh, group of managers uh, where we need to uh, work on talking about like set the goals uh, so everyone also understand uh, the mission. Yeah have as leaders and then also communication so on a leadership level mission you know goals uh, and then uh, communication so that's uh, area 
on improvement uh, number one and then as i said uh you know recruit 15 people and um, recruit 15 so then your total would be yeah. how many and uh, then we will be 35 people all right yes and uh, also uh very important to uh maintain and, and keep everyone uh, happy to build like a moon become the, like the the happiest uh, workplace. What I'm doing right now, as you remember, uh, we, we spoke about that I, for the first time, recruited a, a HR person, yeah. Matilda. She actually started this week. Okay. Uh, so I'm uh, right now I'm in an onboarding process together with her. That was number two. And uh, number three is we need to work on the go-to-market uh, process mm -hmm. uh, to define and also uh, creates uh, service packages yeah. uh, so it becomes clear what we sell and what we deliver so we actually can train everyone and um, yeah very important no. yeah that's a part of getting everyone on board right mm. um, so uh, number three work on the the uh, the uh, services I like how you check them after you talked about them yeah nice. <laughs> yeah um, and then uh, I also uh, have work to do together with the sales team in the sales process, you know, when we have packaged all the services and and define them mm -hmm. and we need to improve how we sell them. And uh, number five is uh, basically the same thing, but on a marketing level, we actually this week we did a discovery workshop. Uh, we took the, uh, the new fresh discovery workshop process and and did a, uh, it was uh, one more way to say a dry a dry run okay. uh, on ourselves, but it was not a dry run. It's, it was uh, actually a, uh, we, we did the discovery workshop to set our uh, marketing plan for 2022 okay. uh, for Moon. So we also have a new uh, person joining from uh, South Africa uh, next month, and and Taylor has been working on uh, Igor Moon's marketing for more than a year now, and she will probably have some um, marketing uh, uh, topics uh, still uh, for Igor Moon to do, but she will move more over to actually work on customers now. Okay, exciting. Uh, together with OSA yes so that's uh you know she's in the OSA's team as well so so we we are rotating the uh, internal marketing responsibilities so mm -hmm. Eric will take over as strategist and uh, Yushra she, she's joining as uh, a an inbound marketing consultant um, for our own marketing so that's um, point number five and number six is that we and it's very I mean, it's weaved into all the other points, but we we are talking a lot about this internally now that we need to get a more goal-driven approach together with our customers. Yeah. I don't know how to say it in English, but I mean, you can either be the problem solver mm -hmm. or you could actually be the challenger, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said I'm, that a I'm, couple of times. Yeah. You have to challenge your customers. Yeah, yeah exactly. And 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 set up goals and really have the conversations how they will define or evaluate us you know mm -hmm. how, you know put, put oh sorry i was hitting the microphone there uh you know to, to actually set the, the the right framework yeah i get that for the relationship how we define values so we know what we are actually working towards as a team so yeah. and and to you know to to unite and get a better teamwork and uh, like a partnership together with our customers and I, I think that's also you know the long term uh, relationships we have together with our customers. Yeah, I think partnership is a good keyword here. Yeah. Yes. Like in 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 our industry, we often talk about a retainer. Mm -hmm. we, we have a I would say like a retainer. Uh, package like uh, we, we call it triangle of growth uh, subscription mm -hmm. and so i mean we see the, over the years uh, customers that we have on a uh, triangle of growth relationships uh, relationship they stay for somewhere around 20 to 24 months with mm -hmm. us so that's like an average lifetime uh, value for our um, uh, triangle of growth customers yeah. but we could do that 
we could extend that. We, we could uh, increase the, uh, the lifetime value much more if we get better goals together with the customers. And um, yeah, and I think in that way we could really drive uh, growth much better together uh, with them, and in that way also we, uh, for ourselves. Yeah. So, but but it's a uh, very uh, interesting topic as well and I think maybe we could break down every point in uh, upcoming episodes and talk more about them absolutely uh, I was just I about to say that all six could be something yeah sorry because I think all six points that you had there sound very important to me and I'm curious when you look at all of these six things which is the the main focus for you right now what you're gonna start off with or do you juggle all of them simultaneously as usually <laughs> yeah uh, we spoke about planning mm -hmm. last last uh, <laughs> last time uh, so um, I, I think uh, none of them is uh, something you check off mm -hmm. uh, just as an example the first one develop and increase leadership so everyone uh, understand the mission and also how to uh, get better uh, on communication. Mm. There's several steps I take. We we are looking for an external, you know, person that could all, you know, come in and, and train mm -hmm. and the leaders and then, you know, do workshops and uh, actually set up a process together with me and then also coach me how to, to run that process. Yeah. So I, and and you know so there's a lot of things i'm working on yeah it's a journey probably for all of them it's not just a, a task in your, your calendar <laughs> exactly yeah, exactly I get that. so um yeah but i, I would say uh, where i uh, spent most time this week to answer your question uh, is definitely to get with matilda yeah. uh, on the hr part uh, setting her up to be able to actually go out there and and uh find these 15 people for for 2022 so yeah. that's where i have been uh, working this week yeah i thought so all right from home <laughs> okay matthias i have one last question for you and yeah. i know i can't believe it but it's already the third year we're entering with corona and everything so you know still everything is kind of uncertain and hard to plan but maybe there's like one thing or multiple things um, that are planned this year. I, I use planning again. <laughs> planned this year <laughs> that you're looking forward to. I don't know. Maybe there's like a kickoff that might happen in the summer or a team activity um, or something else. Maybe someone else coming in helping you out. Is there maybe something you could think um, of this year that you're looking forward to? Something positive here at the end. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that. So the first thing that came to my mind when you asked the question iGoMoon uh, is turning 10 years this year. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we need to celebrate that, that anniversary uh, but this summer. summer. Okay. Uh, I think, I mean, again, you, you named, uh, I mean, uh, C-19, COVID-19. Uh, COVID-22 mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> COVID uh, by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> COVID yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, uh, it's kind of hard to plan something, you know, uh, yeah. like in a uh, normal world or a, like dream world, if if I uh, am allowed to imagine, it would be nice to have a real party, you know, mm -hmm. probably before the the summer break and um, or just after uh, when everyone is back. And at the same time, fly uh, our Cape Town team to, to Stockholm then yeah. and... Um, show them and uh, the office for the first yeah, time that would here be great. so that, yeah. that would I, I think the 10 years anniversary uh, that that would be a great uh, a great thing yeah uh, just mention on that side definitely Tremendously interesting. all right yeah. then let's hope that um, we can celebrate this year and everything it's gonna back to somewhat normal so we can at least plan something but yeah. yeah, thank you for today, Matthias. And thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a comment if you want to know anything, or if you have anything to say about the episode. And like and subscribe and hit the bell. I know it's a lot to ask for, but, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you in the next one.
Have a great one. Bye-bye.